Um, I think it's a it's a story about um, parents and children uh, and the struggles of growing up and defining yourself from your parents and defining yourself from their life and their legacy and staking out your claim as an individual. Excellent. Um, what was the strength of this story and the appeal of it for you? Um, the script was so beautifully written and the character as well was so uh, interesting and, and different and uh, fully formed. She really, she came alive right off the page. I remember that when I first read the script, um, I first came across her first lines of dialogue in it and I said them out loud because they were just so ready. They were so alive already. Um, Paul White's brought a beautiful truth to her um, and uh, I really have to credit him for creating such an amazing role. Excellent. Um, you're not playing a real-life person in Being Flynn, but you did r some research on your character's work environment, and how did that impact your portrayal? It uh, was uh, very informative in terms of uh, developing my character, um, spending time, you know, working at the shelter, cooking and serving, and there's so many jobs that you, you have to be doing. It taught me a lot about how she would walk and talk and conduct herself and how she would dress, um, and, uh, uh, you know, also what sorts of people she was likely to be surrounded by all day, both in terms of her co-workers and in terms of guests at the shelter. And, uh, yeah, it was an amazing way to prepare. Excellent. How did director Paul Weitz advise you and Paul Dano on your scenes together, some of them pretty intimate? Um, you know, the atmosphere on set was always lovely and very laid back. Um, both Pauls are very laid back types um, and uh, we're all very collaborative. So it was really just, uh, you know, trial and error. You try something, you see how it feels. If it feels good, you do it again. If you want to change it, you change it. Um, and, uh, you know, um, we spent some time hanging out together and, uh, um, you know, I think we were just always trying to keep an ear towards being truthful. Excellent. Uh, what's it like working with an icon like Robert De Niro, especially in emotionally intense scenes? Um, I mean, it's just an honor to be, you know, to share uh, screen time with him uh, at all. It's amazing that over the course of a two-hour film, you'll see his face and my face. I'm tickled by it, and I'm, I'm deeply honored. Excellent. And what do you believe the movie conveys to people in terms of how Nick Flynn's story plays out on screen, ending on a note of hope? Um, I mean, yeah, this story is about uh, someone on a journey, a very difficult journey of finding themselves. And of course, Nick Flynn, the real Nick Flynn, has really come out on top, and he's gone through a, a you know, walked a difficult path, and uh, and you know. Um, uh, has shared his story with us, which is amazing, and you know, I think the movie says that um, we can overcome these sorts of things, which feel insurmountable but at the time, but, uh, you know, if you steer yourself to the right path somehow, then you can stay on it. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Kyle.